What's going on guys? It's Ahmed and I'm back today with yet another video and I'm pretty excited about this one actually. So as you probably, if, if anyone has been trading at all today, uh, throughout the day, you kind of saw this THCB or the Tuxin, uh, Tuscan Holding, Com uh, Holding Corporation, excuse me. And you saw it's been kind of just riding today. It was flying since market open, you know, at 930 it went up between that and market close. We saw it run up about 18%. In the aftermarket up to even 21 percent and now it's come down looks like in the after hours about 5.9 5.29 5 so i'll go into detail more about this spe uh, specific spec but you know you guys uh you know that i'm pretty excited about specs it's something that i've been talking about in my videos and you know again this is one that is actually going to be going through a merger hopefully soon they have till april so it better be soon and they'll be merging with a company that i'm pretty excited about that's microvast so just to look at the um, you know the chart, again like all specs was running around ten dollars a share, till about November twentieth it looks like, after that started slowly trending up over that week, and through weeks end and then that next Monday was around thirteen dollars a share. So you can see there's an increase there about twenty four percent twenty four percent, which is pretty solid, and then maybe some news died down. Um, it looks like because there was an there was an issue with what they needed something called an extension because their SPAC deadline, usually SPACs have about a year, maybe two years, I think it is a year, till their um, time expires before they need to merge or you know the SPAC kind of just disintegrates. So for this SPAC, their deadline was December 3rd. So as you can see, before they got the dead, uh, before they before the deadline, people weren't sure what's gonna happen, dropped down from 1291, about 12% 12 to 1135. And then after the news was announced that yes, they got the extension till April, 2021, the SPAC slowly started trending up, a little lost there, but up, 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 and now up 43% from December 3rd, and that's in six days. Pretty impressive. So what is the company that THCB will be merging with? It is Microvast. So Microvast, again, is an electric vehicle power solution provider, and their goal is, and it looks like they just actually updated their website, which is pretty neat. And again, just looking at their products, what they are is an electric battery company. So again, their idea is to hopefully start integrating their batteries within um, more of the city space. So what that means is, again, in more urban um, areas, buses, things like taxis, they want to help um, give them not only just a good battery that Microvast, Microvast develops, but a fast charging battery. So as you can see here, um, I think it was on their main website. Let's see here. We'll go to... So here they talk about it a little bit, again, more of the clean city transit is what they're going for. Again, that's what we're trying to do with any electric vehicle is to switch over from, you know, the more polluting, typical gas powered or, you know, diesel powered vehicles to now these electric cars and electric vehicles as a whole. So let's go on back here. Let's go back to their main website. Here we are. So the technology. They kind of talk about it a little bit here, but microvast battery systems can be fully charged, 100% charge in about 10 minutes. So if any of you if any of you have seen Teslas, like for example, I see them all the time in the parking lots of grocery stores because that's where our uh, charging stations are. But around those areas, you know, I see them. Usually, what people say is they leave their car outside, put the char hook it up to the charger, and go into the grocery store or do their shopping, 30, 45 minutes to get a full charge. So. Again, 10 minutes is a fast charge. That's pretty impressive. So I think a lot of electric vehicle companies in the future will want to partner with Microvest and you know adopt their batteries for their own vehicles. So again, the fact that it's disrupting the battery space instead of the electric vehicle space, because that is kind of getting a little overwhelming and oversaturated, I think this company really has a pretty big potential. So again, THCB at 1720. Looks like in the aftermarket's at sixteen twenty nine. Do I think it's a buy at this price? Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Please, please do your own research. But I do think that this is maybe a little overvalued for the time being because again, this rose without any brand any new news about you know what we're looking for currently is something called definitive agreement. That is the next step for this company and Microvest. But um, again, the SPAC has not announced anything like that, nor has Microvest. So I think it might be a little higher than it should be. So I expect a little drop in the price maybe back down to somewhere even 13 13 dollars 14 dollars i think those are good great entry points but of course if you're looking at uh, thcb and microbuses long term any price is probably a good price around these times 
So for me, I'm going to be loading up. I did buy in about $11, and sorry, I'm late to making this video. So I bought in, you know, before the definitive agree, or excuse me, the, the extension, because there was a little dip there of like the 1132, I think it was. So that was my entry point. But again, for you guys, I think it's not a bad idea to do some research, uh, figure out what you, you know, if you do like Microvest as a company, you can find a good entry point for yourself. But again, I say anything, you know, around the parts where it was kind of consolidating for a while, which is around that 12 to $13 mark, I think that's a great place to buy. So do your own research. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what your entry points are for Microvest, or excuse me, THCB, before the merger. We're hoping to hear something new, um, soon. But again, I'm gonna keep loading up on this um, spec until the merger is you know, announced and the definitive, definitive agreement is also announced. All right, guys, until next time, take care and keep investing.